We're going to talk about Larry Zabisco, and I don't know if you know this or not, but Arn does the best Larry Zabisco impersonation. <laughs> you and Larry were both in AWA during the late 1980s, too. So talk about Larry a little bit. Was this, did you meet him in AWA? Was it later on? I want to it hear was about Larry. A, yeah, I met Larry in AWA, and he always had these free-flowing shirts on, like they were Hawaiian or something. I can't remember, like they're Hawaiian freaking shirts. And I, I don't know, I think he always loved golf or whatever. He was always tan and he's always walking around like this and Medusa or whatever the hell. And he was always smiling or, you know, or making a remark and then <laughs> and walk off. He never stuck around to finish it, the conversation. And um, I was always scared to talk to him because I thought, oh, my God, he's office because he's boning the... Burns' daughter, or he was married to. Yeah, I was he like, was. yes, I can't talk to him. He's married to the. Awesome. And so I never, I never felt like I could approach him because of that reason. And I just, it was very yes or no, sir. Even though we were, you know, working together. Huh. All right. Yeah, let's, interesting. Let, let's keep it going. I didn't know if Arm would chime in. Maybe do an impersonation. We may still get. Oh. One. Deuce, my what? God, you yes. know I sold out with Bruno, Shea Stadium. <laughs> my God, they're chanting, Larry sucks. Larry, they mean it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you see his speech at the Hall of Fame? Poor Horrible. Guy. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> that no, he was, he got a, lost. There's a story there. Yes. I spent a month telling Brock. My youngest, who's now in the business, Larry is going in the Hall of Fame and he is going to steal the show. He's going to put himself over for 40 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Well, but he got stuck in the bush behind Bruno's house at 16 and he never got any further in his speech. <laughs> what? Remember, they, ra they wrapped him up. He never even got to talk about his career. It brought, we're, we're going back to the hotel and Brock looked at me and went, Dad, that was the shits. Oh, I felt <laughs> I mean, so he was bad. Pissed. Was, he, was he stoned? <laughs> he had to be. This is great. <laughs> he had to be, but he got, if you go back and look at it, he got stuck telling the story where he was going in the bush and he got stuck, and he never got any further. He oh, my God. To, he never talked about his career. I know. It's like, it was like an hour, and I just saw everybody, and I'm like, oh, no, what do we do? I go, is there, like, a cane? Like, you drag somebody off the stage? Or is there a bell? Or do we start music? Like, well, they, <laughs> they usually would send the cane, to the character, out to give them the Iggy to get out of there. They did that with... Uh, What's the guy's uh, kid that was Mr. T's son? Remember, he went into a whole diatribe and the tent sent, sent Kane out and said, hey, get off the stage. Yes. Oh, my gosh. But I just, what do you do? I think at that point after that, because there were long speeches. I mean, God, mine was like 30 minutes or it now they only long. induct like four people just so that they don't they can avoid all these long ass speeches and five hour nights, I guess. Well yeah, I mean it was it was it was five, six hours, some of those. Oh yeah. my god. No Billy I mean, Jim. Well, how do you I remember that one? Yeah. Well the how worst you... part is I had to go afterwards when it was over and meet Cena at the stadium to go over his match. Oh shoot. At two o'clock in the morning and we had to be back down there at ten. Ugh. Oh my gosh! Behind the curtain, shit nobody saw, but it was right. Now right. that this... that five hours of of Hall of Fame stuff takes a different meaning. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That I cannot believe that though. It was, it was um, poor Lair. He's such a good soul though. We're, we're going to have Larry on the show one day. He's going to be you? one of our next guests. We have to. You it, have to. It would be so much fun with him and Arn. Are you kidding you me? You should do it on a golf course. Oh, there you go. Oh, he loves golf. I know. That might be the only place we catch up with him. So. <laughs> yeah. 